The city of Brasilia is located in the federal district of Brazil, an area known as the Brazilian Savannah. Population of 2.9 million people and an area of 5,780 kilometers squared. It is built beside an artificial lake created by a dam and three rivers. The lake provides hydroelectricity and recreational pursuits. Brasilia is situated on a plateau, 1,100 meters above sea level in a savanna by a home. The city of Brasilia is designed in the form of a bird or a jet plane. It is a super modernistic architecture and geometrical beauty. There are impressive modern buildings and cutting edge design. The artificial waterfall and lake brings natural elements alive. There are many alluring restaurants, retail outlets, commercial building and the Brazilian capital awards you with ultra modern pleasures made out of concrete, steel and glass. Temperature is consistently warm. Climate is very dry, whereby humidity can fall lower than the Sahara Desert. Precipitation of 1,540 millimeters of rainfall annually. Even though Brasilia goes without rain for several months of the year, it is not uncommon for cars to be swept away by the rain, and an umbrella is no protection. From 1963 to 1990, you can see that there is hardly any variation between the months. From 2010 to 2014, the annual pattern is very similar, but each month the average mean temperature increases. The change in temperature is due to climate change, a large-scale long-term shift in the planet's weather patterns and average temperatures. Example, mountain glaciers imply that the life in the Antarctic is affected by climate change. In order to decrease the effects of global warming and climate change, we explore stabilization wedges, such as the conservation of transport, the efficiency of transport, solar energy, wind energy, nuclear power, carbon capture and storage, and sustainable buildings. Its main course of transport relies on bus and taxi mobility, as it is mostly inexpensive. You can improve the density patterns to create more opportunities for social interaction with the consumption of cleaner fuels, such as sugarcane ethanol. You can use more clean advanced vehicles, such as clean diesel, electric hybrids and hybrids plug-ins. The most recommended solutions are the light rail, modern tramway and metro systems. Solar energy is the technology used to harness the sun's energy and make it usable to power electronic equipment. There is a large variety of ways in which solar panels can be used. Big windows placed on the sunny side of buildings allow sunlight to heat absorbent materials on the floor and walls. These services then release the heat at night to keep the building warm. Similar to absorbent plates on the roof can heat liquids into tubes that supply a house with hot water. Wind energy is described as a process whereby wind is used to generate mechanical power or electricity. There are many advantages that come with wind energy generation, as wind energy plants emit no pollution or greenhouse gases, and it reduces global warming effect. Wind energy remains a champion as costs are more competitive with other generating technologies because there is no field to purchase and minimal operating expenses. Nuclear power generation occurs from harnessing the energy initiated from a nuclear reaction. The energy originated from the process of splitting atoms of uranium. Uranium is used as it retains the highest atomic mass of all known elements. The advantages of nuclear power generation include a significant save on raw materials but also in transport, handling and extraction of nuclear fuel. The cost of nuclear fuel over all uranium is 20% of the cost of energy generated. Production of electric energy is continuous and plants are generating electricity for almost 90% of the annual time. 
alternative to fossil fuels, so the consumption of fuels such as oil or coal is reduced. By reducing the consumption of fossil fuels, we also improve the quality of the air as decreased carbon emissions are produced, in turn lowering the effects of global warming and climate change. Carbon storage and capture is the process of capturing waste carbon dioxide from fossil fuel power plants or from power generations from other industries and transporting it to a storage site, depositing it to an underground geological formation to prevent the release of large quantities of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. It captures up to 90% of carbon emissions out of the atmosphere while producing a healthy profit. Brasilia's major sustainable project is a stadium with a capacity of 72,800 people. The construction is financed by the local government of the federal district and more than 90% of the materials from the original demolished stadium has been recycled or used on site. It is a pursuit of the highest level of green building certification possible, LEED Platinum. There is ample access to public transportation in the central location where arrival by foot and bicycle transport can be encouraged. There is renewable energy generation integrated into the stadium's roof, which will become the largest solar PV system in Brazil. The stadium aims at reducing more than 50% of the consumption of public water through strategies of water capturing for reuse, utilization of efficient water in consuming features in toilets, urinals and faucets, and irrigation-free landscaping. There is restoration of habitat by adding green spaces where there was none before and by transforming parking areas into rich, diverse biosphere. There is aim to reduce the heat island effect in Brasilia's city centre via increased vegetation and high SRI hardscapes and a very large white roof covering the entire stadium bowl. This is providing ample shade inside and outside the facility. There is utilisation of recycled materials in construction and to manage materials during stadium operation to reduce landfill waste. This includes high levels of recycled content in concrete and steel and using green market operations philosophy to compost materials such as plates, utensils, cups mixed with food waste in a full cycle process that can be managed on site.